What are YouTube say? I'm gonna tell you how to tie a fly. A little bit before I tell you into what the fly looks like. I was watching a Tim Kazma video, and um, I saw I was watching his closet Menno video, and he was talking about how he um, people put so much bucks on like sparks. I'm looking at it like that could easily be transformed into a crawfish. So this is what the fly looks like. I'm calling it a Klaus, Klaus or craw. Only it's it's a regular Klaus or mano, very sparse one. It's just that I added these uh, monofilament eyes and these heckled claws that look really great in the water. Um, and it gives this awesome in the water defensive posture. These pump them off. So the thing you're gonna need is a lead eye, any light you want. I'm using these these ones. I'm using a mustache hook, don't know what this is. Or size, it just looks good. Looks for the size of a fish. I'm fish more just bass, bluefish, and small striper. And then you need bucktail. I have yellow and black, but today we're using the black. Um white bucktail. Or you can use brown if you want. Um two. Um Hackle, any type, color, any, whatever you want. And I'm using, you're gonna want Crystal Flash. This is Rainbow and Pearl by White River. I like how they put his zip tie here. Makes him just easier to pull out and put back in. So to start, you're gonna take your bar, you take your time on saltwater hook, as Tim said, because I fish saltwater a lot, but you never know when you're gonna get the opportunity to actually um, fish. Salt water if you're in, if you fish fresh water. So always tie these larger flies on the salt water hook. Very sturdy vice. You don't want to take it, people. Mistake and tie at the head. You're gonna to wanna to go. Actually I'm gonna turn this hook around to this is getting on the way. Take it, you're gonna go where the where the hook starts. Scoot up a little bit so we're at the three fourths of a way down. And you're going to want to make a little base right there, I guess. Actually, I'm going to scoot that first. Just... Just a little bit. Take it. Get rid of that. And tie in your eye. What you can do is you're going to tie into it. Tie it like this. Up against it. Right there. Right there. If it's go this way, it should even it out. You gotta maybe help it a little bit. I think a bunch of extra apps really. Like I have my eyes nice and sturdy. Then you want to take your white bucktail. You're gonna want to take your scissors. You don't want to use your nice ones, as Tim says. Or the, the buck tail, my dog. Your nice little guys to just cut in half. You're gonna want to take a very sparse amount of this much and grab them by the tips and pull all of them out to get it around this much um, buck tail. You want to tie it in. Um, I'm going to trim up the buds. You want to make sure it's securely down. Um, I'm actually going to trim up this hair on the back because it is a little long for my liking, so I'm just going to trim it up. And you're going to do is take your black buck tail, but in this case, I'm using my, my brown because. Crawfish are only brown. Also, 
Um, this is going to ride upside down, so you want your lighter color on the bottom, and dark, and dark color on top. Up, up in here where I live, the crawfish. I have a, a white underbelly, kind of, and then a brown top. Same thing, cut it, tip. You're, it's going to feel like you're using, losing, as Tim said, you're going to feel like you're losing a lot of bucktail, which is because you are. Right, flip it upside down. We're back over, back to the head. Trim it up. Just your minute, just your uh, um, box up, and then you're gonna take your crystal flash. I'm gonna bite, and we'll take about uh, the three or four inch section, take it, I'm gonna tie it into the bottom. Then we might all trim up it, trim it up, get a nice good head going because I'm not gonna tie much up on it. Take your scissors, trim it, take these guys, like, leave them just a little extra long. Then you do, you're gonna take your monofilament eyes, which I have seen to just misplaced for a couple of diamonds. Right here, you take them, make sure you spread them in between the hook, and you're gonna make sure it's on top, on the bottom, it's gonna ride up, or it's gonna ride on top of the fly. You are going to want to cover the entire base of this just so it doesn't fall through. Maybe you want to take your eggle, figure how long you want. I'm going to make this guy a little larger claws because I'm going after a three or four pound bass with this guy. Spring. Take Cut your Cut your little, um, cut your little claws, make sure in between, same with the eyes, tie them both at the same time, as you sh only should for tying two heckle, two really of anything. With the that's like have a good head because it's gonna be in the bottom most of the time. You wanna make sure it doesn't make mix doesn't fray easy. Take it. Do a four turn whip finish. And you are done. You can either break off the thread or you can You might need to adjust um, little stray hairs, but as you see, I deviated a little bit from the original one. It doesn't it looks at it more flash, but you get the gif of it. Um, so these are great bass flies. Great anything that eats crustaceans, really. Um, subscribe, like. And uh, have a great day and uh, take care.